Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector. Now this harness is designed to fit the 2021 and newer Chevrolet Trailblazer. To confirm if this wiring harness is going to work for your vehicle, take advantage of our vehicle fit guide on this product page and input the year, make and model of your vehicle and that fit guide will let you know if this wiring will work for your vehicle. So this harness provides a four pole flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters, and those adapters are sold separately. And as you can see here included is this tethered dust cap for this four pole flat connector. It's tethered to the housing, so you're not going to lose it. And that dust cap covers those connection points when this plug is not being used. Now the black box here uh, on our harness is the Modulite power converter. And the Modulite ensures that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailer. It connects directly to your vehicle's battery to avoid overloading the vehicle's electrical system, reducing strain on your vehicle's wiring system. This harness is designed to connect quickly and easily. What I like about it is you're not going to have to splice any wires, you're not going to have to figure out which wire goes where, no alterations to your vehicle's wiring which could lead to damage or voiding warranties. It's going to be a very easy install and the green side will, the, the side with the green wires are, is going to go to your passenger side and this side here with the yellow wires is going to go to your driver's side. Now you will need to locate your vehicle's taillight wiring harness by removing the rear threshold plate, the privacy screen, and some interior covering to access those taillight connectors in your trailblazer. Then you would separate the taillight connectors, being careful not to break the locking tabs, and then you would insert these T-connector ends between the vehicle's wiring connectors and then lock them into place. And these T-connectors are custom fitted for your vehicle, so they're going to match up perfectly with the connection points on your vehicle and they're going to snap and lock together for a nice, tight, and secure fit. So again, yellow is going to be the driver's side, and green is going to be the passenger side. Once you have these plugged in, you will need to make a good ground connection. The ground wire is this white wire, and as you can see here, it has this terminal, attach, a terminal ring attached to it, and it does come with a self tapping screw and so uh, once you uh, find that suitable location such as your vehicle's frame or cross member you can use this screw um, and, and secure that ring terminal to that uh, place that would be a good ground. Just make sure that the surface is clean and rust free. Then you would need to mount your converter box to a safe out of the way location you can do this a number of ways. Uh, you can use another mounting screw, or you can use this included double side adhesive tape, or you can even use one of the cable ties here. If you so desire, run that through the, the top hole there of that Modulite converter box, just to make sure that that is secure and out of the way. Now, the next thing you would have to do is run the hot lead wire, which is this short black wire that's coming out of our Modulite uh, power converter. And this short black wire would get connected with one of these butt connectors to this bundle of black wire that is included in this kit. And so once you have our short uh, black wire from our power converter box, from our converter box, connected to this uh, bundle of black wire, you would then carefully route the other end of this wire uh, to the front of your vehicle 
to the battery. And once you have this wire routed to the battery, you would then take the fuse holder here and you would go ahead and snip this fuse holder wire in half and you would take one of the piece, one of uh, the wires after you cut this in half and use the second butt connector and connect it to this power wire that you routed from the rear of your vehicle to the front of your vehicle. And then you would take the other wire and attach this ring terminal, connect uh, this ring terminal and then connect that to the positive post of your vehicle's battery. And as you can see, it does come with a 15 amp fuse. So then you would just pop this fuse into the uh, fuse holder, and then the cap will keep that fuse secure and safe. So as you can see, your wiring in your trailblazer is going to be protected. You can secure any excess or slack in your wiring uh, with the included cable ties and there are plenty that come in this kit. When you are routing your wire from the rear of your vehicle to the front, you just want to make sure that you are staying away from any moving parts or anything that can get hot so as not to damage this wire that's running to your battery. Once the installation is complete, the four-way flat connector uh, can be stowed in your rear cargo area. And then when you're ready to use this, you would just open up your rear hatch and run this, uh, the four-pole flat connector. You would just run that out, staying away from your latch or a striker, and just uh, run this in between the, uh, the weather seal, uh, the weather stripping seal of your, lat of your hatch and of your vehicle and that will keep this protected and you can then connect this to your trailer. Now the maximum amperage for the stop turn lights is 5 amps per circuit and for the tail lights 7.5 amps per, per circuit. This is constructed of a 16 gauge bonded wire and as you can see here uh, detailed instructions with pictures are included. It is also recommended that you use a small amount of dielectric grease on your electrical, electrical connections like the plugs uh, on the vehicle or the four pole connector itself. It's designed to help prevent electrical failures caused by corrosion and moisture. I would recommend picking some of that up and you can find that on our website using item number 11755. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.